she breaks the mold of what we think of as what girls are interested in versus what guys are interested in. She's an individual. Welding, grinding, cutting, sanding. I'd much rather wear grease than makeup. Her mind just works like an engineer. She wants to know why. The project kind of took on a life of its own. Now there's literally thousands of people watching to see what she succeeds at next. My name is Catherine Damari, and I'm 14 years old, and I'm rebuilding a Pontiac Fiero. All right, what are you working on today? We're going to do welding first. Welding first. Okay. My car that I'm building is a Fiero 86 GT. It is going to be all black and yellow interior. And then the body is going to be gloss black with yellow racing stripes. My car is going to be fast and sporty and just cool. <laughs> Michigan has a great car culture. Home of the Motor City. It's a great place to be, to work on a car. I'm going to be welding in the back of my frame rail right now. I'm going to do one inch stitches. So I'll have like an inch, no weld, and then an inch here. I got the idea to build my car the summer before I turned 12. I've been to one or two car shows with my dad before, and so that's where the idea sparked, hey, maybe I could rebuild a car. She said, I want to redo a car so that it's done for my 16th birthday. And it's like, okay. <laughs> I just knew that it wouldn't work unless I had good reasons. So I'm like, well, if I build a car, then I'd get the experience, I'd be able to possibly look into future careers. She's like, I'm gonna pay for it myself. It'll be a car that only has two seats, so I won't have a lot of friends to get in trouble with. So we decided, okay, we'll let her try it. Fiero, a brilliant example of Pontiac innovation in action. Fiero, only from Pontiac. I picked the Pontiac Fiero because it's pretty much all curves. There's like no straight edges on it whatsoever. And it's little, so I figured it would be easier to rebuild than like rebuilding a huge semi-truck or something. And the amount that I personally spent on my car has probably been over $2,000 from babysitting and selling my welding art online. She's put probably close to 1,000 hours of work or maybe even more than that by this point. All my friends are like, you should be putting on makeup, you should be prancing around with us all. And I'm like, I can't, I gotta work on my car. They're like, your car can wait. And I'm like, no, you can wait. It's like in Twilight, Bella has this really old truck, and everybody teases her about it, but she loves it. Same principle. <laughs> One of the reasons why she's been able to uh, keep her interest in this project is the fact that she continues to learn um, and, and to learn new skills. What I'm holding in my hands right now is my camshaft. It moves the lifters, which moves the push rod, which moves the rockers, which pushes down on the springs, which moves the valves. So far, the skills I've learned on this car is welding, grinding, cutting, sanding. I learned how to upholster things, how to change tires, how to change my fluids, how to take apart an engine. I look at different textbooks and things. Then I asked my dad and my uncle, what do you know about this? My goal for finishing the car is to have it done on my 16th birthday because it's kind of like you're 16, now you're free. Right now, I am about halfway through in both time and in progress, so I think it can happen. Anything you gotta fill, you gotta sand more. What? Sanding <laughs> is the thing she hates far and away. Everything else she gets excited to do. Somebody at some point took a rattle can and pretty much spray painted it black. So I have to sand all the way through all those layers and then repaint it. The big trick is to keep that thing moving. Don't let it sit in one place ever. Especially with black. Yeah. Sanding is kind of like having to do laundry every day. It's just repetitive and there's not really much of a point to it other than it needs done. I think that's taught her stick to itiveness and commitment and then finally you see the end result. The motivation for me is just being able to visualize what I want in the end because otherwise you're just staring at the details. You need to be able to see the whole picture as well. I think the bolt's turning with it, Daddy. Yup, it is. It's a lot of fun working with my dad because we know how to joke but still get the work done. We've created a rapport that we can talk about anything. I mean, there's things that she shared with me that I think there's no way I would have ever told my parents that. We've talked about money, we've talked about how to plan for college, we've talked about boys and sex, and it's just a, a safe space for her and I to just kind of grow and learn and build together. Oh, that's an awesome weld. You should come see it. Yeah, that looks nice, kid. I like that weld. Good.
One of the things that's probably surprised us the most is how many people have taken an interest in her story and how quickly it spread throughout the internet. And it really kind of probably started off of her forum. People started responding back. You know, I've got to spare this. Could I send it to her? And then pretty soon we had a pile of things that had been shipped to her for her project. And they came from Canada, from all over the U.S., from Australia. From there, the project kind of took on a life of its own. AutoBuild, they're the largest automotive magazine on the planet. Named Catherine, AutoBuild's 2012 Woman of the Year. All the support has been really encouraging because it just shows that I am making a difference and I can do this. And so when I'm stuck on something, then I'm like, I'm not alone. I've got people out there who will help. She knows that there's literally thousands of people watching to see what she succeeds at next. And so I think there's some of that in the back of her mind that I can't let these people down now. I think people have been so enthusiastic because it's not necessarily something you see every day because my age sets me apart from most people who work on them and also the fact that I'm a girl working in what would be considered guys' fields. As much as that kind of annoys me really, it's just annoying that people always ask me, so what's it like to be a girl doing this? It doesn't really matter that I'm a girl doing this. I mean, I'm able to do it just as well as any other person. Got it. Oh, yeah. I don't think that there are enough women working in the engineering field because they think, oh, it's guys' world. But I hear these stories about women who are in it and they've brought so much to it. Hi, Catherine. Michelle Hi. Pickering. It's great to meet you. You too. What do you want to see at the auto show, Catherine? You can see the rest of Chevrolet. You can see the Camaro. Can Let's see do the Camaro. Camaro. <laughs> okay. I want to talk with them about their role mostly. I want to see how much women can actually bring to the automotive world. See that neat stuff feature yeah. that we and put into the bumper? Cool. Did you put that in? We put that in there. You guys need to go over there and then we'll get a picture of the two of you by the bumper. <laughs> oh, there's a handle. Look at this. There's a handle. At 14, I never would have accomplished half as much. How old are you? 14. Wow. Catherine just is so impressive in terms of her knowledge and her way she handles herself. Her mind just works like an engineer. She wants to know why. I'm just trying to figure out this timing chain thing. What's going on here? And I want to see how challenging it is or how different it is for women. When I first came in, many times I was viewed as being a secretary. Today that's different. Uh, there are many opportunities for women. Although we still don't have an equal number of women in the engineering fields as we do males. My concern is that as a society we may not be encouraging women to go into science, technology, engineering, or math even. But Catherine seems to have figured it out all by herself. We want to keep contact with you and make sure that you know you progress the way you are. I look forward to it. Okay. okay Thank again. you. Good luck. Clearly it's going to be an exciting day when she gets to drive the car out of the garage. But I think she's going to be looking for what's next. Because I think for her and for me, it's been that whole learning process that's been most important. This car project has definitely changed my outlook on what I want to do. I've really become interested in being a mechanical engineer. After high school, I'd really like to go to a big engineering school. There's been a few places who have contacted me and it's been kind of cool to see them reaching out already. It's important to me to be a role model in this project because I want to be there to say, hey, look, girls really can do this. You shouldn't put them down if they want to try. Just give them the chance. I think that people should have the chance to chase after their dreams and help them come true. Da, 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 da. I don't know what else to say, so I'm just gonna hum, make random noises. Good with you? Okay, go with me. Da, da. Fiero, only from Pontiac. We 